over so this this entry where below dragon is empty okay now this is fine now how about the border over here suppose if i were to uh zoom let me zoom out now if i were to uh, put a h line over here h line over here now this is put this is putting a border throughout the table throughout the row now i don't want this i just want the border only till only for this part i just want the border only between valeria and crown lands i don't want the border between this part as well as this part now how is that possible there's a command now let me remove this up now we're fine now what you have to do is that there is an, a command called as c line c line and then what you have to do is that you just have to write the columns uh, columns that should have a line so if i were to write like this uh, current row and the low below only between columns n1 and n2 so i just have to draw a line column between columns uh, 2 and 3 so let me just have a look uh, so i think if i just write uh, let's see uh 2 comma 3 check it out what check what happens it just writes it just draws a center line between columns 2 and 3 let me zoom it out c line 2 to 3 draws a center line actually and that is the name center line between line between columns 2 and 3 okay suppose if i just want the just entry just for one i guess it is possible uh, if i run uh, build this uh come on man okay i think i should give a uh, okay let me just see if this works um i guess you cannot give a single line but i guess you get the point i guess you get the point right i guess you get the point like if you have a uh, dat if you have data that spans multiple columns you can give a line like this then now it's not a problem they i mean for this table i guess it's a little higher but uh, anyway but for other tables it is possible and uh, um that's about it that's about it if you were to write the c line like this you have options to uh, merge cells and show a show accordingly show accordingly well that's about that's about this part now let me just correct this up not a problem and uh, run build this yeah fine Well, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. It's, we're not over yet. We're not over yet. Sorry. We just have one more thing. Now, we wrote the table and everything. So far, so good. But uh, there's a, there's actually there's a still a problem. Now, if I write something after the table, something like uh, this is a table of some houses in a song of ice and fire. Okay, written in chart. If you write something like this, you see what you see what's happening over here. If I write contents, this table is just a part of a sentence or something. It just uh, it goes like this, and uh, it it's just causing a big not a flu nuisance like this. You see, we don't want this. Now this is not cool. We want the table to be as a distinct member. Okay. Now for that, what you have to do is that it's simple. You just have to enclose the tabular command between command begin table. Okay, begin table, and then uh, after uh, end tabular, okay, you enclose this within an end uh, end uh, table. And if you do this, do this. Uh, uh, let's see. uh since you have multiple tables over here okay you're having this issue the begin okay and uh, let me close it over here uh and uh table okay so if i run this there you have it the tables are like this uh I ignore the formatting as of now since there just only one content in this entire stuff uh, the table is like this but the alignment will come accordingly if you have a lot of written contents in between in between 
the alignment will come nicely so that's the only reason nothing much about that okay now if you see the tables will stand out properly here okay now if you want to give a labeled uh, fig uh, table name and table title and everything what you do is just write the table and then you type uh, label uh, uh, caption you want to give a caption uh, say details of houses in the song of ice and fire now check this out right like this you have an option called as table one and it shows details of houses in a song of ice and fire like that and if you want to uh, give a label to a table it's also possible okay I just write label and then I type tab one something just to indication uh, uh, t okay so uh, to refer to it I just use ref command over here ref uh, so I just have to write table table is a table of uh, how some houses and detail okay has has details of some houses in a song of ice and fire so first time you run you will just have a question mark when second time you run it has written it has writings like this table one, table one has the details of uh, how some houses in a song of ice and fire so on and so forth like that not bad huh not bad huh now this way you have a table that's done but thing is uh, if you have a lot of contents that uh, wrap them nicely some for instance let's say I just write them over here just okay so on and so forth and if I just run this uh, up and down if you just let's say just have a lot of contents written and then uh, what will happen is that uh, the tables will align accordingly in your page as of now I don't have much written much data written in this thing that's why you have like this but it's possible okay now one more thing one more thing uh, uh, sometimes you, sometimes my people might find it really annoying and hard to write tables especially if you have a very very large set of data like this it uh, it can be quite annoying so what I what I uh, to make the job easy, TechMaker has a few features. One is that you have this option called as Bizarre, and there what you go is that you just go to this option called as Quick Tabler, and then what you do is that here you set the number of columns, the number of rows as per your choice, as per your choice, and and then just uh, okay, uh, just type all the comments you want. Uh, SNO house house fa um, kingdom like that kingdom capital okay uh, leader leader uh, sorry leader capital uh, what else sigil okay now if I were to go to if I were to go Go about with that. House is house star. stark Leader is Edard. A person named Edard. Capital is Winterfell. Sigil is Direwolf. And then there's another house called as uh, Mart uh, Martel. Martel. And their uh, the leader is Doran. And their capital is in Dawn. I guess that's a capital I guess and then the I'm not sure about the capital anyway that's not a big deal sigil is sun sigil is the sun now what you do is that if you do all this okay and uh, you have options to merge columns merge cells and everything you have all the options okay and press, press ok and then your tabular column ta table will be generated like this the table will be generated and then afterwards you can just put your um, put your uh, table command begin table end, end table and your caption and everything so on and so forth and your LaTeX will generate your table automatically that's one thing second there's another way uh, suppose if you uh, you can go to Google and then there is option there is an uh, type just type like uh, generate uh, table for LaTeX 
create table for ladakh and there's this uh, uh there are multiple websites and there is a stay uh, website called as tablesgenerator.com where it creates latex tables online so go to this web page mm, is my internet i think my internet is a little slow yeah not a problem it it it, it worked out fine so what do you have what do you have to do is that just write the contents write the contents as per your choice over here for instance let me just copy all this i guess this should work uh oh crap anyway uh something like s and o uh some st- uh house leader leader capital sigil one like that if you just write your contents like this and so on and so forth and uh, you have options to uh, delete rows del- add columns and everything and uh, you have options to uh select the borders uh merge cells merge merge cells split cells and so on and so forth and you have options to color them as well and everything and if you do all this write all the contents and you click generate this option over here will generate the table for you as per your choice will generate the table for you as per your choice and then you can just copy all the contents and paste it in your latex paste it in your latex and that's about it okay and that's that, that that's about it okay that's one simple way and also there's one more feature in tables if you want the table to be located in a in a particular position of your choice uh, or control their positions manually you have an option over here uh, i think this is a bit um, uh, it looks a little messy okay i think it has an options like here for as uh, uh, option like here so if i tap if i press here okay the table will be written immediately as at the spot like that this way you have a control as to where the tables can be put okay otherwise the table will be automatically adjusted if you go to uh, table control if you just type table position options table position in latex uh, you will have okay like this how to fix fl- table positions okay you'll have a uh, you'll have a lot of pages and then you have options like h uh, so you have options like htb htb bp and several other stuff okay you can based on that you can just uh, p- f- fix the position as per your choice and everything like h stands for here like that uh, like that uh, t stands for maybe adjust or acor- tab it accordingly something like that or uh like that you have op- you have options and everything so you can just have a you can have a look, good look at that and if uh, if you want to force a table to be at a particular position just use h that's about it and uh, they, uh, they let me see if there are any other comments let me just refer to my notes um okay and there's one more thing and if you want this entire table to be centered by default okay there is one more option after table just type centering okay let's say if your table is not proper okay okay this table is big enough so you might notice a difference let me take a small table like this and uh, okay let me take a small table like this i put a here command over here so the table is force fit okay you have the table force fit over here and now this table if i want this to be in um, s- center mode if you want this to be in the center of the page okay just watch this what happens to this table um okay sorry this has to be written on top of uh, after t- uh after tabular so centering and run this yeah see then now this table is center if you want these kind of options to be available then you have to use accordingly um let's see if there are any other options i'm forgetting here well well actually i think that's all i, I think that's all i remember as of now uh, if there are any i'll just le- i just let you uh, if there are any i'll just let, uh, let you know in the future tutorial okay thank you guys for watching and uh, hope you guys learned how to make tables and how are some quick fixes to get tables from other parts 
use uh, built-in options in like tech maker as well as an online generators to get tables and everything thank you guys for watching uh, i'll see you guys next time